I think there's an issue that people aren't talking about with gay marriage. Uh, there's a lot of things that they, they beat around the bush with. Um, my beef, I'm a libertarian, so my beef with, with the advantages given to anybody because they happen to live together and have a, have a ring and have made it, have, have had a ceremony. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back giving to a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Kurt Russell just humiliated woke culture and Hollywood is furious. Okay, this is going to be amazing. I love us to check this video out together. Let's go right to this video. You know, my, my personal feeling is that there's a big difference between fantasy land and reality. Fantasy land is what we do. Um, it's a, you're either writing something, writing a song, uh, writing a book, doing a movie, doing a television show. That's, that's fantasy land. We all know Kurt Russell for being the Disney child star he once was, but just as many of his other Hollywood colleagues, he's standing up against woke culture as it's destroying our freedom. As you will find later in this video, it is no secret that Kurt believes that the woke left are being completely delusional and far from reality. He has this opinion when it comes to gay marriage rights and even gun control. And most of the time when Kurt is asked to speak about his opinions, it's usually to get a fight out of him. First of all, I was in a situation, we do what we, what we call a dog and pony. Right. We're out doing the dog and pony selling a picture and you get kind of Sometimes you get uh, what you feel is a, a slightly ambushed by somebody who's really got an agenda. And that's sort of, I think, that's my opinion of what happened to me the other day. For some reason, Kurt is often overwhelmed by the mindset and thinking capacity of those who support the woke culture. <laughs> to show how serious he is about this, you would later see in this video how Kurt stands up to woke bullies, like the almighty Disney. But before then, you can tell that he gets really worked up about the woke debate. Do you really believe they're not going to? Are you are you serious about that? Are you seriously? What good will that? Oh my God, you and I just disagree. But ambushed or not, Kurt never shies away from speaking his mind about the woke culture. But when it comes to gun control, Kurt has one of the strongest opinions in Hollywood. If you think gun control or something like that is gonna change a terrorist point of view, I think you're like out yeah. of your mind. I think you're like, I think anybody is. I think, I think it's absolutely insane the problem, the problem, the problem we're having right now is, is that we don't have the concepts of how to um, turn it around and say, you know, I, you, you may think you've got me worried about what you're going to do, dude. You're about to find out what mm. I'm going to do, and that's going to worry you a lot more. Okay, that's good. Now, in case you are wondering what Kurt really meant there, then I have three words for you: mutually assured destruction. Yeah. According to Kurt, he believes that the only thing that would regulate the excesses of gun culture is not creating rules on who can own guns, like the woke people argue, but allowing everyone to own guns as a deterrent to those who get trigger happy. He contends this is right is worth fighting for. And if the government doesn't agree, that's not exactly out of the ordinary. I think there's a very strong reason founding fathers had for the Second Amendment, and that is that no, gov no government ever hasn't had to um, fight its own people, and its own people hasn't had to fight its own government. We had our civil war. But here's what is even more compelling in his argument. The mere existence of the Second Amendment drawn up by America's forefather is exactly what gives people the right and power to defend themselves. If that Second Amendment hadn't been there, those people would not have had the opportunity to do what they considered was defending their life, their, their way, their, their style of living. So I agree with that. I, I think that's an important part of our existence and it's basically that simple. It is exactly that simple, Kurt says. But what is even more interesting is that Kurt is not the only one in Hollywood that feels this way. To survive in world culture, you have to become a liar. You have to pretend that you think fat is beautiful. You have to pretend to be race obsessed. You have to pretend that you think Dylan Mulvaney is a woman and should be included in female spaces. We are being told that you have to lie repeatedly in order to survive in corporate culture. So is it true that you have to lie and pretend to not be alert to the reality of things in order to be woke? And as you'll later find out, this is also seeping into Hollywood and how they want their films yeah. to be. So Kurt bashes one of the biggest dogs of the Hollywood industry. But that would come in later in the video. Apparently there are more things that woke people are doing to piss of Kurt Russell, specifically when it comes to their beliefs on how they parade gay marriage. Well, I think there's an issue that people aren't talking about with gay marriage. Uh, there's a lot of things that they, they beat around the bush with. 
Um, my beef, I'm a libertarian, so my beef with, with the advantages given to anybody because they happen to live together and have a, have a ring and have, made it, have, have had a ceremony. According to Kurt, it's hard to understand why any demographic should enjoy certain privileges over others simply because they represent the woke community. But more than the privileges regarding marriage in the woke community, there is something else that is way more triggering for Kurt. So the people who want to defend themselves can't? No, not so you can. Just so the idiots can't get a hold of them. Do you really believe they're not going to? Are you are you serious about that? Are you seriously? What people that? Oh my God, you and I just disagree. According to woke people, if gun control is implemented, it'll reduce the amount of idiots who want to own and use guns for the wrong reasons. That seems perfectly logical. But on the other hand, Kurt says there is another flip side to the coin that the woke is not addressing. With gun control laws, innocent people who want to defend themselves from trigger-happy idiots can't. And that makes no sense, or is even fair at all. But in the same vein, Kurt makes another compelling point, even if he says it in a patronizing and sarcastic manner. I understand that you think that you can control the behavior of people that are dead set on taking um, your way of life away from you. I think you think you can control that. No, and there's uh, only one thing you can do with that and say, no, dude, that's not gonna happen. Wait, let's zoom out for a minute. What exactly do the gun control laws achieve? I mean, if you go by Kurt's argument that criminals with evil intentions would always bypass the law to obtain guns, it makes the gunless people sitting ducks, no? How do you argue against that? Now let's spice things up a bit. Kurt isn't the only one in Hollywood who holds these strong opinions on gun control and laws. As a matter of fact, musician Ted Nugent appears to be even more passionate and unapologetic. I believe that a person's uh, moral compass can be determined by how he references free men the right to defend themselves. The Second Amendment is so obvious to me, it's, it's insane that there's an argument. Well, at least Kurt is being a bit polite by saying the Second Amendment should be followed, right? Well, Ted, on the other hand, goes completely rogue on the matter. I don't need a document, and I don't need another man to explain to me that I have the right to defend my gift of life. So, in simpler terms, gun control is really about controlling people's rights. If you think about it, Ted and Kurt see it as just common sense that everyone should have the right to own a gun. They believe it's a great way to keep everyone safe, and they argue that it should be a basic human right. And when it comes to the woke left, they feel those folks need a reality check. Now, speaking of a reality check, the debate around wokeness often revolves around whether those who are woke are a bit out of touch with reality. There's also a lot of chatter about how these ideas are being pushed onto everyone else, whether they like it or not. It's a hot topic, and it's not just something you hear about in Hollywood. Speaking of which, we can't really dive into this conversation without bringing up Jordan Peterson. He's got some strong opinions on wokeness, especially when it comes to gender equality. His views definitely add another layer to this ongoing discussion. Your gender identity is so fluid that you can change it every hour if you want, and it's not fixed at all. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's infinitely variable at your whim. Okay. I'm supposed to accept all of that. But being so bold and blunt about your beliefs like Kurt comes with its own consequences. As a result of his loud voice and passionate stance, Kurt has become a target for other celebrities in the Hollywood industry, especially the woke side. On his stance about how he believes the government should not be handing out benefits to new gay couples just because they want to be together, Another Hollywood star, Mark Ruffalo disagrees and publicly shames Kurt for arguing against marriage equality. How that makes sense is up to your imagination. But Kurt did not take the backlash lying down. I mean, it was just such a slap in the face. I thought, fuck you, buddy. I'm going to take you on full force, full frontal nudity. Let's go. Well, you do not come for Kurt and go scot-free. Kurt is not only vocal about his opinions, but also stands strong against opposition and would not be backed up to a corner. On that note, it is no news that Kurt's strong opinions are not only for interviews and talk shows, but even on set, Kurt is known for not allowing woke agenda tamper with the purity of his scripts or characters. He would not be a part of that. 
As a matter of fact, around August 4, 2024, rumors began floating around that Kurt had cut ties with Walt Disney Company as a result of their woke agenda and how he could not take it anymore. He was quoted to say that he was sick and tired of the woke culture, and he has wasted his career with the company. He went on to say that Hollywood is in big trouble if it doesn't check some things, and one wonders if he is right. However, as much as no one would be surprised by this, the claim turns out to be just rumors, and there is no solid proof that this is true. Dozens of people die every day because of criminals who take laws into their mm. own hands. They commit these acts with zero fear or remorse because they know that their victims are helpless. True. So Kurt believes gun control stops nothing. And if you don't believe in that, then can you argue with this? If you think gun control or something like that is going to change a terrorist point of view, I think you're like out of your mind. I think you're like, I think anybody is. I think, I think it's absolutely insane. Well, in the end, the stance is clear and the debate will always go either way. But what do you think? Is Kurt Russell up to something here? Or is there a lack of judgment? Kirk Russell is really a smart man. And in the aspect of gun control, you, you tend to see the reason why. Like, that's why there's a reason why there's a second amendment. Like, <clears throat> right to defend yourself. Everyone is free to own and, and have a gun. Like, you ought to defend yourself in case of circumstances. Like, because you notice, like, there are some instances that you, you, you get mugged, as I've been mugged, you get harassed in, in, in a way of like being oppressed by someone who's holding a gun, like you, you, you are helpless. So people who are coming to rob or uh, mock people, they already know that the, the next victim does not own a gun or does not own a sense of, def to, a, or a sense of anything or, or a weapon to defend yourself. So they are very confident that those people are helpless. Um, before the police or before the cops or before the um, people in authority comes to help them out, an act has been done already. Probably they are killed. Maybe probably the victim has been killed or has been brutally injured or something terrible have happened to the victim. The gun control is, is, is very good for us not to get guns in the hands of the wrong people, which can be more chaotic. I understand. But we all have rights. You understand? And that is the reason why the Second Amendment was there in the first place. And trying to argue that makes no sense. Actually, no sense. I love how um, Cocked Russell answers. And he's someone who is very precise and someone who doesn't believe in the work, work culture. And it's just people who support the gay marriage and as people who are silly. Because it, there's more to just having rings and ceremonies and calling yourself um, we are lovers. There's more to that. You understand? So, if if his fear is that such cultures is entering into Hollywood and whatever Hollywood takes in and renovates in, in, in a sense of directing it back to the public, mess it to people's head, you understand? So in a sense of like accepting this work culture of it and putting it into Hollywood makes people see um, this transgenderism, um, the gay aspects, as in normal thing. You understand? And once people start, it's already happening. We're already seeing uh, this work culture already in Hollywood. We're already watching movies like that. So it makes people who barely know anything about work culture, people who are just growing up, the next generation sees as something that has been happening as a normal thing, which itself is what fears Kurt Russell. It feels like it's getting more serious. And if we don't take some um, some precautions, it to get more worse than this. Um, he's really a clever man, and he's trying to like, cut all ties with work Disney, uh, with Disney as a whole, because it feels like they're taking this to another extreme, which is very, very terrible. And whenever it comes to Disney, you talk more about children, because most of Disney children, most of Disney uh, movies, resonate to, to kids. So, if we are feeding our kids this narrative of woke culture, it's really, really messing with their head, and it makes people feel like some aspect like um are you in the right body because that's mostly what work people do other transgender is what the transgender just asking this question of are you in the right body so the more they are taking this narrative into tv shows and into disney it's messes with the future generations that are coming up you understand so it brings doubt to their self 
I hope you guys understand me. So this was really beautiful to watch. I love how um Coach Russell handles the whenever he's been asked a question, what he believes in, or his his fears in Hollywood. He is he's very precise in his answers, and as someone who have self respect and someone who does not um judge from answers, he's someone who stands by his weights. And I love how he answered every single question they asked him. Comment below and think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to us. Many subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. Bye. I just want a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back. What's smoking? I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all over.